As we go about our daily lives, we may not notice the subtle shifts in the retail industry. However, behind the closed doors of boardrooms and executive meetings, a wave of chaos is crashing into some of the biggest retailers in the world. From the shuttering of once staple brands to the loss of thousands of jobs, the retail sector is experiencing a seismic shift that is threatening to bring down even the biggest names in the game. From Topps Friendly Markets to Starbucks, these once famous retailers are now collapsing right before our eyes, leaving behind a trail of debt, bankruptcy, and unemployment. It's a chaotic scene that's sending a chilling message about the fragility of the retail market and the dangers of ignoring the warning signs. In this video, we dive deep into the root causes of this crisis, explore the impact on consumers and employees, and ask the pressing question, who will be the next to fall? Number 1. Tops. The future looks bleak for Tops Friendly Markets, a leading supermarket chain with around 180 stores across four northeastern states. According to a recent report published in the prestigious Wall Street Journal, the supermarket company faces unprecedented financial instability. In addition, the company has paid a staggering $375 million in dividends, adding to its economic woes. Number 2. Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder, a well-known beauty retailer offering high-end brands such as Bobbi Brown, La Mer, MAC Cosmetics, Origins, and several others, has recently declined sales. In fact, the company saw a 32% decrease in sales during the last quarter of 2022, which has prompted the brand to take drastic measures to reduce its market exposure. As a result, Estee Lauder has decided to permanently close down 15% of its retail stores and some department store counters to mitigate its losses. Number 3. Kohl's Kohl's, a supermarket chain in operation since 1946, faced financial troubles for years as more prominent players in the retail sector dominated the industry. As a result, the company made the strategic decision to pivot to a department store model in an effort to stay afloat. This move unfortunately proved futile as the current retail apocalypse has hit the department store industry the hardest. As a result, Kohl's is now faced with the difficult task of restructuring its operations to focus on more lucrative markets, such as fitness athleisure and denim clothing. Number 4. H&M A significant apparel business is crumbling before our own eyes. It was reported in January of 2023 that the corporation still felt the effects of the losses incurred during the pandemic. In the wake of that news, H&M announced that it would be shutting 320 stores entirely this year. In addition, CNBC predicts that if revenue falls more than anticipated and expenses start hitting in November 2023, over 1,500 jobs will be affected. Number 5. David's Bridal Unfortunately, CEO James Markham has disclosed that the future may not look bright for David's Bridal. Without a potential buyer stepping in soon, the company may have to close all of its stores by the end of this year, an announcement that has caused anxiety among brides-to-be across the nation. In addition, the company recently filed for bankruptcy and planned to lay off approximately 82% of its workforce, equating to around 9,200 employees. This decision came after months of financial difficulties, making this the second time the company has filed for Chapter 11 protection in just five years. Number 6. Clark's Clark's, an iconic British shoe retailer with more than 70 stores around the world, is facing challenging times. The US and European division of a 200-year-old UK footwear business has been bought by a Chinese firm, leading to the closure of 25% of the chain's US locations. As the corporation struggles through a restructuring, about 2,000 positions have been eliminated so far, and several more might be lost in the near future. Number 7. Guess Yet another apparel retailer, Guess, has faced the harsh reality of an increasingly competitive retail market. The company has recently experienced a significant setback in its financial performance, having reported a net loss of $2.9 million in the last quarter. The leading cause of the financial dip can be attributed to the supply chain issues it encountered. As a result, the company has shut down 100 locations nationwide as part of its restructuring efforts. Please take a moment to hit that like and subscribe button if you are enjoying the video so far. Number 8. 99 Cents Only Stores 
When it comes to the convenience sector, 99 cents only stores has been a staple of the West Coast market for decades. However, despite the company's approximately 350 outlets across four states, sales have declined gradually as customers grumble about price hikes. The experts agree that 99 cents only stores can't compete with the cheap costs offered by the larger traders with more clout in the market and a wider reach with their supply base. Number 9. Belk Belk, one of America's oldest family-owned department stores, is also teetering on the brink of collapse. The well-known department store chain, headquartered in North Carolina and with a significant presence in 16 states, has garnered negative attention for its recent return to Moody's bankruptcy watch list in January. This marks the second time the company has appeared on the list in recent years. Number 10. Jimboree Jimboree, a company specializing in clothing and accessories for babies and toddlers, is another big name that the retail crisis has rocked. The fortunes of Jimboree, the retail clothing company, have been on a downward spiral lately. In a recent report by Moody's, Jimboree was downgraded to negative, adding to the company's woes. Shortly after this news broke, Jimboree filed for bankruptcy for the second time and shockingly closed down 450 stores, thereby leaving hundreds of employees jobless while failing to give any prior warning. Number 11. Furniture Factory Outlet during the COVID-19 pandemic, Furniture Factory Outlet, a prominent home goods retailer centered in the central part of the United States, filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy after American Freight acquired it. Unfortunately, the company's financial struggles continued as slower discretionary spending and mounting debt led to more than 40 store locations closing. In an effort to regain momentum and stay afloat, Furniture Factory Outlet undertook an extensive rebranding strategy, transforming over 30 sites with hopes of boosting sales. Number 12. Tom's Shoes Tom's Shoes, the famous footwear and accessories brand founded in 2006, has also felt the heat. It's not hidden that Tom's has seen a loss in sales throughout the past four or five years, with pricing going up and business slowing down. In 2018, Magnus Fatet Hammer, who served as the CEO until 2020, advised Bloomberg that the company needed to bring its financial liabilities under control. To avoid financial problems, the company ceased giving away shoes and gave a portion of its sales to charity. Number 13. Joanne Since the market recovered from the pandemic, Joanne has struggled to maintain its previous levels of success. There was a drop of 6.8% in quarterly net sales to $463.3 million in 2022's fourth quarter. During the same period, Joanne had a 20% drop in its overall revenue and a rise in its debt to $21.5 million. The outlook for the business in 2023 remains bleak. Number 14. True Religion as the high pricing of jeans gives way to fashionable athleisure clothes, the Los Angeles-based fashion business has seen a decline in sales. It had a debt of $3.5 billion in 2017 when it declared bankruptcy, and the circumstances still haven't changed. Number 15. Disney According to Yahoo, sales at Disney outlets selling apparel, toys, and other items based on the company's movies have hit a 10-year low. As a result, 53 additional stores will close down this year, bringing the total number of closures to 60 since 2022. The media company intends to hire 7,000 new employees this year in order to increase its staff by 15%. Number 16. Sears after declaring bankruptcy in 2018, the stores have remained closed permanently, and it is possible that 2023 will mark its final year of operation. The retail store, which used to be prosperous, has now closed down for good. The corporation tried to create revenues and diversify its revenue source by selling off several divisions, but this was unsuccessful. Number 17. Art Van Furniture Following tumultuous financial struggles, the Midwest's esteemed furniture retailer, widely acknowledged to operate under reputable brands such as Art Van, Pure Sleep, and Scott Shubtrine Interiors, has succumbed to the pressures of the market and entered Chapter 7 bankruptcy. As a result, the company has been forced to liquidate all of its resources, leaving many of its loyal customers and employees feeling disillusioned and uncertain about their futures. As a result, the company has made the difficult decision to shut down around 70% of its stores by the end of the year. Number 18. Christopher & Banks 
The company, which has been selling clothes for women since 1956, declared bankruptcy for the first time in 2021 and had 40 to 60 percent off clearance sales at dozens of stores. According to CEO and President Kerry Jones, the continuous financial difficulty caused by the pandemic was a major factor in Christopher and Banks' decision to file for bankruptcy. At this time, Christopher and Banks' clients may say farewell to approximately 400 locations throughout the United States. Number 19. Morph Cosmetics After opening in 2008 and being well known for its collaborations with well-known beauty brands, the cosmetics and beauty manufacturer has decided to shut down permanently. The corporation has decided to close all of its locations in the U.S. The statement followed many lawsuits against the business over the previous 12 months, notably one filed by the Arden Fair Mall's owners for unpaid rent from 2022. Number 20. Starbucks the unprecedented retail crisis is affecting all players in the industry, with Starbucks being no exception. Despite being the biggest coffee house in the world, the company faced challenging shortages of essential ingredients, packaging materials, and skilled staff. To withstand the storm brewing in the sector, Starbucks resorted to implementing cost-cutting measures, which involved closing down as many as 500 locations globally. Sadly, this means the coffee franchise may also be forced to shut down some local stores. The list of store closures due to the pandemic is undoubtedly long, and it doesn't seem to be shrinking anytime soon. However, while the present situation is grim, there is some hope that many of these stores will eventually make a comeback. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment below, and watch this one as well.